सो हेलो गाइज होप यू आर डूइंग सेफ सो हियर वी हैव द फुटेज आई एम गोन ड्रैक द फुटेज एंड क्रिएट ए सेशन सो रोटो इज माई सेशन एंड आई एम क्रिएटिंग रोटो टेम्पलेट फॉर दैट सो हियर वी हैव द रोटो मोड्यूल लाइक वी ऑलवेज डू रोटो इन सिलॉट एंड इट्स मच ईजी हियर यू कैन सी लाइक माई पाइप इज लिटिल बिट स्ट्रेट सो फॉर दैट जिस गो इन टू प्रिफरेंस गो इन टू दी ओके यूजर इंटरफेस ये click on the user interface or is user interface yep so here we can see like the connections you can choose curved as well as straight here so if you choose curved it will be like the shake uh, interface if you want something like nuke click on straight and apply so here we have the uh, footage now i'm going to track this footage using this tracker options but instead of that i am using a mocha standalone version for tracking and exporting the track from there so uh, i will show you the ways to do that Mm, so if you want to create a layer for roto you can create that or else just jump into mocha so here we have the mocha interface creating a project first okay so next we have to choose the footage to track so click on this option and just choose the footage okay now here is the path where i'm going to save my mocha file okay i'm just saving it here so uh, i'm just naming it as like stone stone sculpt version 001 so creating the project so here we have the input now i'm going to draw a shape over here to track this area so always tracking will help us to do uh, roto very easily uh, yep uh, setting the subsurface for uh, tracking setting the subsurface is very very much important while you do track because if you are tracking an area you are exporting the track for that area so if you set the subsurface if you are exporting the track the corner pin will be absolutely fine like uh, the track will be absolutely for that area specifically so always keep that in mind like you always uh, set the subsurface while tracking so here i am tracking the footage uh, depending upon the machine configuration and the number of frames it will take some time for you okay i have tracked the footage okay almost the track is good now i'm going to export this track into silhouette so here we have two options export tracking data as well as export shape data i'm going to take export tracking data there are a lot of options here we have the after effects exporting options we have avid we have hit film we have the uh, nuke tracking exporting so if you guys want more uh, tutorials on nuke exporting let me know in comments so uh, yep so next we have the silot corner pin which is a new addition in the latest version so just click on this copy to clipboard that's it now you can easily export your track from mocha into silhouette you don't have to like save the track or anything like that click on this paste and here we have the track so you don't have to create a layer here as i always tells like just select the track and click on the apply option it will automatically create a new layer with the tracking data applied so just click on this stabilize option to check the track yep your track is applied on the uh, folder and you can uh, draw a lot of bezels in that so so yep now uh, just go back into mocha here we have if you are using older versions of mocha we have yet another option for exporting the track so it's like after effects corner pin supports rg warp and mocha import so always make sure you are exporting via this format so i'm just saving it because here we uh, in the older versions we don't have the support of copy to clipboard into uh, silhouette at least it was there for nuke but it was not there for silhouette so come back to uh, silhouette for uh, let's see how we can export so just come back to point tracker and import so just show the path where we are going to import the track yeah we have that path here open so now we have the same tracks exported from mocha via this method if you guys are using the older versions uh, apply track via this method so and now you can check the track has been applied okay so if you guys are using uh, older mocha versions and silhouette versions this way you can export the track and use that in your project to make your roto workflow much easier so yep if you guys felt like this tutorial is useful subscribe to my channel